Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your pastor, Yeti. Today, together, we are in the secret place in Psalm 128. The key verse for today is in the title, Conditions for God's Blessing. How blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways. Everyone would like to receive blessings from the Lord. I say amen on that. Even those who do not believe in God or have a personal relationship with Him often invoke the blessings of a higher being and seem to acknowledge it, especially in times of need. A non-human divine power in the universe. Of course, we know God as a personal God who has revealed Himself through Jesus Christ and has even chosen to live within those who believe on Him. He delights in blessing His people. But there are two contingencies for receiving this blessing, fearing the Lord and walking in His ways. Fear is not synonymous with being afraid of punishment or daily being driven by guilt. It is an all and reverence that stimulate a love and desire to please and honor our Lord, who is exalted over all the earth. He has given Torah instructions regarding his ways of life. It is not a legalistic obedience of commandments as much as is in the heart that is inclined to follow his precepts. Three specific blessings are implied for those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. God will bless their labor, their work, our life's vocation, so that they will benefit from the fruit of their own work. There is a sense of fulfillment and security in being able to learn to earn a good living and provide for one's family. No one relishes being out of work and unable to support his own needs. Living beyond one's means and becoming dependent on borrowing and credit has put many in bondage and deprived them of the joy of being self-sufficient. One who has a secure job and adequate income to provide for one's family will be happy and recognize it's because of the Lord's blessings. God has also promised to bless and prosper the land when His people honor Him and follow His will. This is a collective blessing that goes beyond a response to one's person faithfulness. But Jerusalem was assured of prosperities and peace only as a result of God's blessings. When we stand firm in our convictions in fear of the Lord and walk in His ways, it should have an influence on others and give them encouragement to the point of infection. The infection society by a witness and bringing God's blessings. While we see God's blessings in many and deviers, the most valid is His blessings on our family. One can be successful in business, may obtain wealth, status, and recognition. But if there is no unity and love within the home, any sense of blessing is elusive. Children are the legacy of one's life. One may entire from a successful career and leave a significant inheritance. But children and grandchildren who honor him and follow his testimony and example of walking with the Lord are the greatest blessing one could hope for. Such a man who fears the Lord will have a wife who is loved and blessed and will be fruitful in nurturing the atmosphere of the home to honor the Lord. And, as any grandparent would testify, the pleasure of grandchildren is one of the greatest blessings God provides in the later years of life. Pray with me. Lord, thank you for our families and the blessings of a loving wife, a spouse, children, grandchildren, grandmothers, grandfathers, dear friends, 
true friends, brothers and sisters, who are an heritage that honors you. May we always fear you and always walk in your ways, not of selfish desire for blessings, but that you might be honored in the life we live. I pray this for all of us in the wonderful name and the powerful name of your Son, Jesus the Christ. But dear ones, as we were listening in the beginning, God wants to bless everyone. His compassionate love is for this whole world. And that is, it is so important that we live the life that we are the image of Christ for those who are in need or suffer or lost their way or don't even want to know about God. So, my dear ones, be that different in your life. For the ones who are close to you, for the ones outside. May God bless your heart, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. I love you guys.